Hi everyone, so we're trying to sneak this second lesson in. The first bit of it is just about locating the critical region before we use it for a test. Um, so it says here the hypothesis test at 10% significance level uses H0, H1. Uh, so we're going to identify the critical region. So we know from this here that it's one tail. And I'm looking for the boundary for the bottom 0 0.10. Uh, so what I'm saying is the probability that x is less than um, or equal to, let's call it the critical value, is equal to 0 0.1. So it shows you how to do it here. So I do inverse binomial, set the area as 0 0.1, that doesn't really show. Num trials is 12, p is 0 0.5. You get an area, I get a, 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 a warning, warning. Then just press exit and it tells you it's free. Now then, in terms of a picture, I'm doing 0 to 12 here and I've got these little bars. Each bar represents a probability. Now, my problem is the, the calculator says it's free, but I don't know where inside this free bar it is. It could be on the far left or it could be on the far right. So because it's less than, our exam board makes me check, and I have to be really, really thorough with this. Let's move that down a tiny bit. I have to check the three, and then one of, one of the other ones next to it going in the direction of the inequalities. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So if I do that with the BCD, setting the lower as 0, upper as 3, n as 12, p is 0.45, that gives me 0.134. And then if I try again with a 2, set my lower as 0, my upper as 2, it gives me 0.042. Now this one, because I'm doing the 10% significance level, that one there is bigger than 0 0.10. So that's a no. This one is less than 0 0.10. So that's a yes. So my critical region, CR for critical region, is that x is less than or equal to 2 there. Wowzers. So that's kind of identifying the critical region. So the acceptance region is the other side of it. So it's everything from free and above. So the acceptance region is from 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12. There. Now then it says the actual significance level. So this is, this is this part here, because this is what I'm using for it. So the actual critical region uh, or the significance level, I should say. So the actual significance level is not, well, it's not 0 0.042, which is, oh, hang on, which is 4.2 percent there, 4.2% there, there you go. So that's that example done. I'm not sure those things to do at the bottom there. Right, there's um there's another one here, a question for you, which is greater than um we've got a two-tail test one to do in a minute, but I'll do that on another video. Okay.